Hello crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I thought we could do a clipboard mail today. I have not done one on my channel in such a long time. So I thought I would do a refresher for those of you that may be new to my channel or unaware of how to create a um, clipboard and don't want to have to go all the way back, you know, about one or two years ago <laughs> when I did my first clipboard tutorial. It was something like that. So um, what you will need is some cardboard. Now, the cardboard that I use, this usually comes in um, the packaging when I purchase craft supplies. So, for example, if I'm um, buying some 12 by 12 cardstock from an online company they will usually put this big 12 by 12 piece of um, cardboard in the package to keep the paper nice and flat so it doesn't get bent in the post but if you don't have anything like this you could always use any other type of cardboard you could find around the house in packaging uh, you could use you know breakfast cereal cardboard Yes, it's going to be a lot thinner, but you could glue it down um, so one on top of the other to thicken it up if you like. So you've always got those other options. So I've basically just gone and found some beautiful lilac cardstock and I'm going to be creating with this new pretty collection uh, sketchbook by Bea Valente. I have also chosen um, the sheet of paper that I am wanting to use, which is this pretty bow pattern paper with a foiling. And I think that'll look so lovely with this sort of lavender lilac color here. Now, what you need to do is make sure that the back piece for your clipboard is going to be bigger than the actual size of your cardboard. So this one only just makes it. Um, I wanted to grab out some of my cardstock that, you know, um, I've already started using. So there's no wastage. And if you have a six by eight pad, that's also a really good um, size to work with the clipboard. So I ended up just cutting this cardboard down to size using just um, some strong scissors. I actually ended up using my my fiskers um, to cut this down. I get a pen and a ruler and I line down where I'm gonna cut so I can cut it in a straight line because it will not cut in your paper trimmer. It will, yeah, barely put a dent in it. So <laughs> you do have to hand cut this unless you have some kind of really strong guillotine. So I created this one about 13 um, centimetres this way. And then this side is about oh, 17.2, let's just say. So it doesn't have to be um, spot on. That's just what I cut it down to. You can have whatever size you would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some really good glue. Um, I'll just move that off to the side a little bit and just see which side I want. Yes, yeah, so I want it to be this side, which is a lot smoother. Like I said, you need some good glue. Um, you can use double-sided tape as well. I know a lot of people like to use double-sided tape. I did in the past, but I've found that that just takes way too long now. So I pretty much am always using like a E6000 type um, strong adhesive glue. Yeah, it's not the best for, for your health, but <laughs> it just dries a lot quicker. Um, you craft a lot quicker. So we are just going to pop this glue all around 
doesn't have to be perfect. Um, also make sure you've got a phone folder as well in your stash. And I'm going to have to be quite quick at doing this. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. I just have to be quick because this type of glue dries really quickly. So I'm just going to do this. And just hope that that does the job. So we are going to stick our cardboard down like that. Make sure you leave enough room around the edges because we are going to be folding these edges in. Try and smooth it out as best you can. Like I said, get a bone folder. Let's also try and help smooth that out. And get it to stick quickly and also nice and flat. So we have our first piece like this. So this is going to be the back of our clipboard. We are then going to be cutting in some sides and folding those in. Um, what we need next is, just pop that, that lid on there. So what you'll need next is your piece of paper of your choice that you want at the front. We're going to be cutting that down. Just move that paper pad out of the way, seeing as though we no longer require that. And I'm also going to move this off to the side because we are going to need to cut down this piece of paper to fit the cardboard, which is going to be the front of our clipboard. So this is my paper trimmer here that I use. I absolutely love it. I believe it's the EK Tools. Yes, it is EK Tools. And it's almost like one of those um, guillotine type trimmers in a way. It did take me a while to get used to based on where the blade goes from what I used to use. But once I had got the hang of it, I just... Yeah, absolutely love this trimmer. So what I say, it was about 13 and 17. So I need to, and this is also how you can measure sometimes. Just get your piece. If you want to show a little bit around the edge, which some people like to do, because I don't want it to be, I wanted to show just that slight bit of um, lavender colour there and some people also like to do some stitching around the edges so it's completely up to you. You can also turn it into a shaker if you want um, by adding sequins, stitching down some chul or some acetate but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my fluffy bunny pen <laughs> I have here on my desk and I am just going to mark just a little bit here on the edge so I know where I'm going to cut it on my guillotine and also the same with I'm going to trim that top bit off a little bit and then probably want to go about maybe there. So I just marked it with a pen. You can use your ruler, you can use your guillotine or your paper trimmer to do that, but I just find this easier going by just drawing a little line there. So I'm going to trim first the tiniest little bit off this top bit because it's a little bit, actually, hold on, no. First, I'm going to go this way so I don't stuff it up and cut off the line of where I need to, to cut it. So 
that looks about good right there. Save that strip, you can use it to create embellishments. I'm then going to cut here, just keeping that line slightly over the edge of um, the other side of where you're going to cut so it doesn't show up in your project. Hope you guys can actually see, I can't tell or not. And then I'm just going to slightly trim that top bit off because it's a little bit, a um, little bit frayed, a little bit messy. So just going to clean that bit up there like that. And basically that should be the right size for the top part of my clipboard. So when I glue it down, it's going to have a little bit of peakage. Yep, there we go. Look at that. That'll be perfect. So what you'll be seeing, instead of the cardboard around the edges, you'll just see a slight hint of this pretty lilac um, colour around the edges. So now that that's pretty much dry, I think that's perfect, that, that amount that I did. And it doesn't leave any lumps either. So I'm going to get some scissors and we're going to cut in towards this corner of the cardboard. So you're going to cut straight across like that, cut out a triangle. So then when we're folding in our edges, you're going to have that bit folding in, that bit folding in. So I hope that that makes sense. You're just, yeah, basically cutting a triangle straight across the edge of the cardboard. It's like a funny, funny triangle because my paper isn't so long on these sides but that's because I'm using scrap paper and I didn't want to get out a whole new um, you know 12 by 12 paper just for creating this clipboard because it's such a waste you may as well use what you've got in your stash what will fit and there we go so with this section, I'm actually going to fold in the smaller sides first. So like these um, more narrow pieces, so the top and the bottom of the clipboard. So now I need to get my good glue and I'm going to do one at a time so we can wait for one side to dry really well and um, evenly. So it might be easy if, let's see, I know it's a bit hard to see sometimes because I am a lefty, put a little bit on the cardboard as well, just for extra stability. And then we are going to fold that in as close as we can to the cardboard and try and hold that down. That's the thing with this glue. That's why I have to do sort of one side at a time because it takes a little bit to dry. It's not instant. Like it's a fairly quick drying glue, but when you've got heavy duty cardboard like this, you need something to apply that pressure. Because as soon as you take your finger off that, look at that, it's going to go and try and pop up on us. And I'm making such a mess. So it's usually good if you have um, something heavy that you can hold this down.
I usually use some big like ceramic coasters if I have to. So I know that creates a little bit of a mess using this type of glue compared to if you're using um, double sided tape. But I find that the clipboard lasts a lot longer using this type of messy glue. I do end up getting it all over my fingers. So if you have something heavy, you can place, you know, onto this to sort of help it, you know, stop it from sort of lifting. Um, yeah, do that. I'm just seeing what else I've got <laughs> that I can stick on there that's heavy. Just whatever you can find, really. I've got this whole dish full of beautiful flowers <laughs> that people have made for me and we're starting to lose light as well so I'm gonna have to be quite quick with this This one, this edge, isn't as neat as my last one. We are going to hold it down like this. Hope that, that stays down. Feel free to skip if you like. I might even do that. I might just pause the video. Um, so next what you're going to do is you're going to pop the glue then down these sides and then fold those in. Okay, so now I'm really starting to lose light. I've got to work super quick. So I have um, pulled in my sides of the clipboard. We now have to glue this piece onto the front. You know, I'll have to be quite quick at doing this. Make sure you get around the edges well. Whoops. That's all right. <laughs> Being a lefty guy, so, oh my gosh. Do some in the middle. said I'm going to have to be quick at this make sure that's the right way oops make sure you pop that in the right position okay And flat and that out. Like I said, some people like to go all the way to the edges, but I just love to have that little pop of colour to the sides there. It's almost like giving it a nice frame. A 
absolutely gorgeous and it's going to dry nice and smooth that's the idea i hope my bone fold is clean make sure it is before you start doing this so you're going to smear glue all over it And get those bubbles out if there's any how cute is that I better find my lid like I said you can do stitching around the edges if you like but make sure you do the stitching before you um, glue it down and then we're just going to grab a bulldog clip so I just have some bulldog clips here I think I'm gonna go um, gold with this project, you can use um, coloured ones if you like. I will usually go for pink, but I thought the gold is a really nice size and it also goes perfect with those um, gold foiled bows there on the pattern that we chose. That's what the back looks like. so pretty and then all we have to do is load our clipboard up with embellishments decorations we could do beautiful um, trims hanging off that I'm actually thinking of creating a tag flip and you can hang the tag flip off off of this so not only are you getting layers of embellishments in here by using this clip you can also attach one of these like album rings to the top of the bulldog clip like this and attach a tag flip off of here so that is what I'm planning to do with this one I just wanted to jump on and quickly show some of you that yeah have asked before in the past how you make a clipboard um, yeah just how to do that so that's the main base and then you can just decorate it with whatever embellishments you like you could add a person's you know name on there with figures you could decorate it up add some beautiful like um, flowers onto the clipboard if you wanted to I usually keep mine sort of plain on the back and then all my decoration is the embellishments that I stick onto acetate and then into the pretty little goodie bags with some sequins. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped um, and I will catch you on the next one. And I'll also show you guys how it turns out, like the end result. So, um, you know, how it gets decorated, how it looks with the tag flip on it. And, um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you how easy it is to create your clipboard. So, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.